So guys, got some great finds at a garage sale. I got some more four Silent Hill games to add to the Silent Hill collection to then complete every single Silent Hill ever by Matt um, and more in this video. So stay tuned until the end if you want to see the Silent Hill games and everything else. So let's get right into the video. What is up you guys? I'm back. This is Game Hunting episode five. And first of all, I just want to say no, my channel from here on out isn't just going to be video game hunting, video game hunting, video game hunting. I know like my last three videos, including this one, this will be the third one, video game hunting episode three, four, and five. I have so many more videos that I'm working on right now and that I want to put out, but these are just the filler videos to keep a consistent upload schedule every week. So I want to keep you guys updated with what I'm picking up and keep you posted on the Silent Hill collection. I I tallied it up how many Silent Hill games there are in different iterations. So it's like for every console, there's 18 total. And that's not including PT, which is the playable teaser that came out on PS4. And now those PlayStations are selling for like three to $500 with that downloaded on it, which you can no longer get on the PlayStation store. Anyway, I'm not including that in it. There's like three different copies of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. One came out for the PS2, which I have, which is the most expensive get Silent Hill game to buy. Then there's Shattered Memories for the Wii and Shattered Memories for the PSP. So I will be getting those. Stay tuned. As for right now, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna show you guys what I picked up at these crowd sales today. If you're here, thank you for being here. Sit down, relax, and um, let's have a good time. I'm gonna start off with some non-video game stuff. I was just at a garage sale a state sale actually and I uh, picked up some CDs and I picked up these CDs because I know that their fan base has a big cult following so I know that I could sell all these CDs and make profit on it so I picked up each individual CD for two dollars and it is I got four Grateful Dead CDs I got Grateful Dead go to heaven Grateful Dead without a net Grateful Dead Terrapin Station this is probably the coolest album cover out of all of these, in my opinion. And uh, I don't even know how to say this word. If you're a Grateful Dead fan, then comment below. Um, I don't know how, how to say this, but it's the Grateful Dead, and the album name is right here. And it says on the side, and it is spelled A-O-X-O-M-O-X-O-A. And now that I look at that, it's the same exact word backwards backwards so if you spelled this word backwards it would spell out the exact same thing you tell me what that means or how to pronounce it in the comments all right so i picked up these grateful dead cds picked them up for two dollars each so i spent eight dollars on those i could at least sell them all together for probably like 25 30 so that was a fun pickup and then uh, another non-video game related item i got a 1992 Olympic duffel bag and I guess that brother was a sponsor of the Olympics in 1992 this is a brother bag I don't know if this is a sports brand I know brother is a brand that makes like printers and stuff so I don't know if it's not if that's the same company I really don't want to speak out of ignorance but I think this is a really cool bag and I picked it up for $3. And um, I love having duffel bags. They're so handy when you go on trips, if you just gotta take some stuff somewhere. I'm all the time packing up my video games and taking it over to a friend's house or my a family member's house. Um, so this was just super cool, especially for $3. And um, I have like a vintage uh, Looney Tunes Bulls duffel bag from the 90s, like the Michael Jordan era. And um, this is just super cool to add to that collection. I will definitely be using it and it is in great condition. It's in absolutely great condition. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and then I stumbled upon these at an estate sale and I will wait for this one last. So at this estate sale, just like the CDs, they had the video games for $2. And uh, so, like I was talking about in the last video where I picked up SSX uh, 3 for the Xbox, I picked up the first SSX snowboarding game for PS2, NBA Street Volume 3 for the PS2, 
Technic Beat for the PS2, SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman for PS2, and um, Minority Report Everybody Runs for the PS2. And first of all, all these games are in great condition. This is complete in box. I'm pretty sure they're all complete in box. Wow. SpongeBob is complete in box, and it has a Nicktoons insert for like just old advertising, old Nickelodeon advertising. That's awesome. Technic Beat, I mean, like complete in box. These are just all, all complete in box, all in great condition. This was like an old person's house. Yeah, SSX, I mean, complete in box. This, Whenever you have games in this nice condition, it's kind of hard to let them go, but it's like at the same time, you can get more value for them where they're in such good condition and they are all complete in box. Um, so that, those will be an easy sale and I picked them up for $2 each. So, I mean, well, I, you can't complain there. You know what I mean? And at that same sale, this is the craziest part. I picked this up for $2 too. And we have Metal Gear Solid 2 but I picked this one up and it is factory sealed. This game is factory sealed. Um, it still has the sticker on top. It says Konami, the creator of the game, Metal Gear Solid 2. It's sealed at one time, it was $19.99. Picked it up for $2. Sealed PS2 game for $2. Yes, they're still out there, that's crazy. Um, so I snagged this and this was probably, this was one of my favorite pickups of the day i mean that's that's just super dope and at that same sale they had a ps2 for sale also and they were asking a hundred dollars for it which i thought was a little pricey i wouldn't pay any more than fifty dollars probably for a playstation 2 in my opinion because if i were to sell one i'd probably sell it for around 70 to 80. um so them just asking a hundred for it, I mean, but then selling the games for $2 each, especially a sealed game, I'm like, okay, these people just don't really know what they're doing, but anyway, still, I got great deals there. And at this same estate sale, I got a PlayStation 2 memory card still in the factory ceiling, and it is Sony brand memory card. It's not just some memory card that's made nowadays. I really don't know what these go, go for. I doubt it's anything crazy just because the purpose that it has is, I mean, it's literally just a memory card. You can buy the aftermarket memory cards for like less than $10 and they do the same thing. They're eight megabytes, which is crazy. Eight megabytes. All it did was hold a save file. Like you didn't have to download your games on PS2 like you do now. And then it take up 150 gigabytes. No, this just had a total of eight megabytes storage. And all it did was hold your save files which that's just, that's crazy how far we've come. I don't know if we're moving forward or backwards at this point, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this is just super cool to have and this this would be cool to hold on for when I have a game store. I don't know if I'll sell it, I just, I really like that. I really like that it's still that Sony brand PlayStation 2 memory card. And then, had another garage sale and one thing that has helped me at a lot of garage sales is even if they don't have any video games out, Every garage sale that we go to, I'll ask them, hey, do you have any video games you want to sell? Are there any video games inside that you don't have out here that you want to get rid of? And uh, so this kid ran inside and uh, he brought me out two Switch games and he didn't have the cases for them, but that's okay. And he brought me out Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and Super Mario Odyssey, both for the Switch um, he was like, what will you give me for them? And I, and I was just thinking, I was like, okay, they're not in the box. Um, and I didn't want to like rip them off and just throw out like, I'll give you $10 for both of them out there. Um, so I was like, will you take 35 for both of these games? And his face lit up and he was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, I'll take 35 for them. Um, he was like, that's the most money I'll make all day. And I'm like, man, that's super cool. I'm, gl I'm like, I'm glad that I, got, I gave him a good deal and also i mean this gives me some wiggle room to sell these so i'll sell them both in a lot um i'll probably sell them for 50 or 55 dollars make 15 20 dollars profit um but i already have both of these games in the box when i collect for myself i don't ever buy a game that's not in the box unless it's like a 
I say cartridge based game, but these are technically cartridges. I'm talking about like Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64. Those were the those are the only games that I would maybe buy without the case. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, th I mean this was just an add on. You know what I mean? Glad I glad I got to pick those up. Super cool, sweet kid. He was very happy with the deal, and so was I. So that was that was awesome. And now I have it written down on my pen pad, and this is every single Silent Hill game. 18 of them, okay? And then there's multiple consoles that have different games on it, and I'll, I'll list a couple of those off. So, I mean, you got all the other ones, but I'll list the ones off there on multiple consoles. Silent Hill 2 is on PS2 and Xbox. Silent, Silent Hill 3 isn't, but Silent Hill 4 is on PS2 and Xbox, which is kind of wild. Silent Hill Origins is on the PS2 and PSP. Silent Hill Homecoming is on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Silent Hill Shattered Memories, like I said earlier in the video, is on PS2, PSP, and the Wii. Silent Hill Downpour is on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. And then Silent Hill HD Collection is on the PS3 and Xbox 360. And hopefully sometime this year or early next year we will get the remake of Silent Hill 2 for the PS5. Uh, it might be coming out for the Xbox Series X as well. I don't know, um, but in the teaser trailer, I know it showed the PS5 logo, so that's super exciting. And uh, yeah, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that Silent Hill series. That is like probably the craziest video or the uh, definitely the most amount of money I will have been putting in to make a video on my channel thus far. So that Silent Hill collection is going crazy. But right now, update. Got a couple packages in. These are Silent Hill games. But before we get into those, I picked up two more Silent Hill games. So, like I just said, I picked up Silent Hill 4, The Room, for the original Xbox. It is complete in box. At this point, I'm really only trying to get complete in box for these games to help keep their value as much as possible. Um, Xbox is a little bit cheaper to buy for, but still, I mean, this was like a $50 game because it is a Silent Hill game. Those old, those old horror games, man, got a special place in my heart and they just, they hold their value so well. And then I also picked up Silent Hill Downpour for the 360. Like I said, you already know what's up. Complete in box. And to cap off, I'm gonna open these packages live. I haven't looked at them yet. So, and these are Silent Hill games, spoiler alert. So now, out of the 18 Silent Hill games, I have seven of them. So I have 11 left, but seven of them, I can check off the list, and I got the most expensive one out of the way, so that's a huge relief, so now it's just game on from here. I don't know which one this is, but here we go. All right, we got the Silent Hill HD collection for PS3. And if you can't tell from the video quality, this bad boy is sealed. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool to have this sealed. It comes with Silent Hill 2 and 3. This is the HD collection. This is part, just to, I don't necessarily have to buy this to complete the Silent Hill collection because I already have two Silent Hill 2 and then I will get Silent Hill 3 but this is I mean this is another Silent Hill game that was made so had to pick this up so I got the Silent Hill HD collection for PS3 and this bad boy is sealed so that's awesome to check off the list and we got one more let's see what's up oh also I have said that I have seven Silent Hill games I've, at this point, I just showed you three. I've showed you two on the channel before. That's only five. This one's about to make six. And then I have another one in the mail right now. And I may showcase that one. And now that, now after that comes in the mail, I will have seven of the 18. At that point, I probably won't show you them whenever I get them in at this point because I want to build the suspense and create more hype for the upcoming Silent Hill video. So please 
hit your notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for a future video because I am so excited for this, having every Silent Hill game, and I hope that brings cool value and entertainment for you as the viewer. So uh, I want to I want to keep that excitement there. But here we go. I'll go ahead and showcase this one. This is another Silent Hill game. We got Silent Hill Homecoming for the Xbox 360. Um, the case, as you can see, oh my gosh, it has a hair on it. I don't even want to touch that. It has a hair on it. I do not want to touch it. Um, and it has some like sticker residue right here. But luckily, I have plenty of Xbox 360 games, some cheapos that I could case swap it for so put it in a better case then keep this game how it is but as you know as i've been saying this bad boy is complete in box silent hill homecoming and this is definitely one of the cheaper silent hill games um if not the cheapest silent hill homecoming for the 360 and um the ps3 you can you can get them for like under 25 dollars um it's not like those ps2 and the Silent Hill 1 for the PS1, it's, it's not that expensive, anywhere close to being that expensive. Um, so if you do want to have a Silent Hill game experience, which it's intense, um, Silent Hill Homecoming, a lot of people still have their Xbox 360, so this would be a good pickup if you want to play a Silent Hill game. So yeah, we got, uh, we got some Silent Hills in. Um, and like I said, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for future videos. I'm super excited for, for the future of the channel and some content that I have coming your way. And not only am I just working on a Silent Hill video, I'm working on um, some really, really cool video game related videos that I think you all will really enjoy. So uh, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button for the 20th time, turn your post notifications on and uh, we'll run it up and have, have a, I'll, I'll, I'll provide you all some really cool content in the, in the upcoming future. But, um, Thank you guys so much for being here as always uh hopefully this spot is okay i just was filming in my bedroom i usually film on my sneaker wall but I, it didn't feel right not filming a sneaker video on my uh, sneaker wall so um just figured i'd sit down and do the unboxings and the unveilings right here in my bedroom so uh thank you for watching viewing liking commenting and subscribing and i will see you guys in the next video